Good morning, everybody. It is Happy TGIF Day, um, March 4th. This is part one of two. I was having technical difficulties earlier. So um, the first scripture is to read 1 Corinthians 2, verse 1, 1 through 10. Oh, I stopped it at 9. So let me... Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and longed for my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech Udias and beseech Syntyx that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, which with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything be by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which path, passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things of good report. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think of these things. Those things which ye have both learned, and received, and heard, and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Well, I had to redo part one of my video because it it had a glitch, and I say that was the that was Satan trying to silence my yap again. So I thought, you know what, Anna had to take a walk, so took her for a walk and decided to come back. And you know, then I look at it and it's it's verses one through ten. I I picked up one through nine on the previous page, so it'll be even better. So part two is going to start with verse nine and then go to Psalms. So anyway, I woke up this morning hearing We Are the World um, in my head, and that, that was a beautiful song written by, it's just amazing, and, and all the singers, what a beautiful, and, and some are with us still and some are no longer with us. That's, that's the beauty of videos, that even, even after we have passed on, our voices can still be heard if we record it. Val Kilmer, in a recent article, well, maybe it's been months back, talked about recording his whole life. And after I grew up the way that I did, I knew I had to have witnesses constantly to protect myself so that those people that attacked me with their nonsense I would have a, a I would have a, a safety net. People don't believe because they never saw Jesus. Well, just because you doesn't you don't see you haven't seen him doesn't mean he didn't exist. Doesn't mean God didn't exist. Just because you didn't see him. Look at all our history books and the number of people that during our time have passed away. Could you imagine thinking they didn't exist? Like Leonardo da Vinci? Could you imagine him not existing in our world and them erasing the history of what he did for us? It's amazing the, the journey that God puts us all on. And we need to make love and surround everybody with this love instead of war. And we need to start praying for our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine. When I was in Homestead at Publix, there was a gal. And I said, I heard her accent. And I said, where are you from? She goes, Ukraine. I said, is your family safe? And she said, yes, thank you for asking. I said, God bless you and them. You know, it's things like that. This morning, I took one of the gloves when I took Harley or Hannah 
Princess Anna Grace for a walk and started cleaning up the filth of the world. Smokers, if you want to smoke, that's okay, but stop using the world as your ashtray. It is the most, it's the most shameful thing you can do is, is take your, out of your mouth and throw your germs on, on God's beloved land. Clean it up. Clean it up. When I worked for Rustler Horse Trailers back in the 80s, there was a gentleman that worked with me. He didn't smoke, but he had a pickup truck that didn't have a cab on the back. He says, you cannot believe the number of cigarettes I have picked out of the back of my truck from smokers, and I'm a non-smoker. Some of them were lit, and they landed in there. Burn holes the whole nine yards. So, smokers, if you want to smoke, that's fine. Just don't inflict it on us others. I can't even tell you how many countless cigarette butts and even a full cigarette that I picked up in just the short little walk that I took Hannah Grace this morning. Plus bottles and everything else that people feel to just throw it out. They're too lazy to walk up to the trash receptacle and throw it in the trash. It's time we clean up America. I don't work here, but I see a need. And so, therefore, that's what I've done ever since I've gotten here. Because I don't want to pollute the oceans with the garbage. People are cleaning up all the time. There's efforts everywhere to clean up. So I figured, you know what? Because I was sick for so long, I wasn't able to volunteer like I'd like to. So instead, I do it on my own accord. It's easy to do. Reach down, pick it up, and throw it in the trash. I had a client that did that when he came to my office. He walked up to the front door and saw a need and started picking up some trash that had come from the road. And he said, a clean yard is a happy yard. Well, a clean land is a happy God. How about that? <laughs> so... Hope you enjoyed part one of my video. If you've already watched part two, this is kind of rewind then. <laughs> so enjoy your day. Enjoy this end of your work week, perhaps, or maybe it's the beginning of your work week. Um, I work every day because I'm uploading devotions to my Nat333 channel to promote Heaven's Treasure Ministry. So we're going on the road. Um, he'll make it. He'll make it work. And um, I'm working on fundraising efforts. Um, I had uploaded my story to um, the same, um, the same uh, Christian uh, fundraising um, group that Jody McDonough Reed set up for me for my personal to get my everything around. And when I really started listening and reading, the mission of this group, I thought, well, what the heck? I'm on God's mission. And I, I need a little help along the way. And if you're anywhere near or on the path from the Florida Keys to Arizona, it would be great to meet you along the way. And we're going to need housing along the way as well. So if you are in our path or even close to our path, um, I think it's Route 10 that takes, it's kind of like a direct route, a route all the way over. So even if it's a little bit off, um, going there, that's the route we're going to have to take. Now coming home, it's going to be a different route we could take. So um, if, if you're interested and you've got room for me and my beloved girls, I would love to come stay with you and share God's word with you and help embrace you with the love that Jesus shared with everyone years ago. It's time we unite with love, not war. See you soon. Bye. Love you.